Hey guys, Brian the Nerd here, and today we're gonna be taking a look at Transformers Mind Wipe or Headmasters. So I got this guy today. Um, I was at Walmart, got this guy. Um, so if you guys are interested on in picking this guy up, uh, I'm pretty sure he's only at Walmart. Uh, I don't. It's, it doesn't say on here that he's exclusive to Walmart, but apparently everybody says that they got it from Walmart. So I don't really know. So if you guys really like this review, go check it out. Um, there's nothing too much to say about this. I mean, you got a nice artwork here, Transformers, uh, whatever. And we'll get into that later about the Headmaster thing. On the back here, beautiful artwork, by the way. And just like the G1 Soundwave, I don't have the box for it. I'm I, 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 sure I do, but I just can't find it. But he had this, like, graph thing about, like, how strong he is and stuff like that. Um, so there's a little bit of read up there. And beautiful artwork, I already said that. So, let's stop talking about the box and actually get, move on to the actual thing, so. Okay, let's move on now. So here is Mind Wipe in his bat mode. Um, uh, it, it's very nice. I really do like how this, this bat mode looks. Uh, it's very wide, um, and also I think that this is a very well-engineered transformer. Um, so... Uh, it might look pretty impossible to get from this bat to, like, a pretty, like, very slim robot mode. Um, so yeah, uh, this is not like G1 Soundwave over here, where it's, like, a remake of the actual toy. This one, uh, it, the articulation on this guy is more like an, a, ma a modern Transformer figure. Uh, and I thought that he was gonna be, like, Soundwave, where he had limited articulation, but nope, I was completely wrong. So, I don't know if this is, like, a new series or they're just re-engineering it. I don't know. Um, so, if anybody could tell me in the comment section below, because I'm kind of confused, but uh, you can just, just tell me in the comment section. So, let's move on. So, uh, I really like how the, the coloration on this guy. you got, like, the really dark red, kind of like a, like a pinky red here. And then we also have the purple here. So, that's awesome. And then you can see, like, this these claw details here. And then you also have like this, like kind of like a reflector, like deceptic, where it's a translucent piece. So that's awesome. And then we have stubby little legs, and he's kind of a chunky boy. So that's awesome. And then we have like these back wings here. And then you have another Decepticon logo. So that's like the robot mode chest. Um, then obviously it's not really, it's not really great how they did this of like the feet. Uh, it doesn't transform any more than that. That's how it's supposed to. But to be honest, it doesn't bother me that much. Um, so I don't want to be too nitpicky and then on the head here. I love the head sculpt on this on this figure um, It's pretty well. It's it's awesomely sculpted and I also like how it's it's like a oops uh, Yeah, it kind of sucks how his head doesn't tab in but uh, I like how it's like a try it's like an uh, like um like a, a mechanical bat instead of being like an organic bat So that's awesome. So you can have some of like the bat ear detail and some more detail on the side here uh, you got some panel lines on the wings, and also you uh, on the head as well. And you got panel lines everywhere, so that's awesome. And then on the back here, I don't like how the head is hollow. It looks like a second thing. That's awesome. Not really. But on, but he does have an opening mouth. It's a very limited opening mouth, but it is an opening mouth nonetheless. So, you know, and his teeth are also silver. Very nice. It doesn't open that much, but uh, whatever. Um, and... Uh, there is some articulation on this guy. Uh, I mentioned the mouth. Um, I I didn't mention this, but he does have some feet articulation. So there's a ball joint at the on the leg here, but it can't really bend. That's 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 all at far. So he can kick that far and move back that far. There's nothing there. You got swivel because it's a ball joint, and then you also have like a hinge joint, um, a limited hinge joint because the wings are supposed to tap in. Uh, but you can't untab it, but that just looks really weird, and I don't like that, so just, just tab it in. Um, and there's no head articulation, unless you want to call that articulation. Uh, for the wings here, uh, they have hinge joints, so you got a hinge joint here, hinge joint here, and a hinge joint here. This part is made out of rubber, and his ears are also made out of rubber, so you don't have to worry about, like, uh, like uh, paint chipping. Um, and also... Uh, very, like, most of the paint on this figure is, like, unpainted plastic. The only bits that are actually painted are these 
the eyes here, the silver, and the little, um, like the little thruster or gun bits. I don't know what those exactly are. And then some stuff like that. So it's basically unpainted plastic. So you can be a little rough with this guy. Um, and you can kind of get some wing poses. Like some, uh, if you just try to bend it like that, it works pretty fine. So it doesn't look that bad. So, you no, know, you don't have to bend it like all the way. So you can just bend it like that to get some pretty good bat wing poses. But if you kind of like, you kind of have to, if you break the sculpt like that, that just looks bad. And also, the wings kind of untab a little bit. <sighs> there we go. Uh, they, they tap onto these back wings, by the way. Um, so, not much else to say about the bat mode. So, let's get on to the transformation, shall we? So, the transformation looks very complicated. Because um, you're like, oh, how does he get his feet? How does he get his arms? How does he get his head? So, we'll explain that now. So, basically, what you want to do... Untab these that it so wants to do. You fold this down. You're gonna have to fold these wings bit down. And there is this tab right here on this wing plugs into that hole. Then you move it like that. To try to get into there. It's rubber, so you don't have to worry about breaking it. Um, then you fold out the feet here, and you do the exact same thing on the other side as well. And Bam! Then you have his feet. So then you just fold these up like so, and leave them like that. Then the bat head just kind of, uh, kind of sits there like so, and then it kind of like, um, oh, and on the neck here, there's a little tab that sits into there. So you just kind of break it like that. So bam! It just kind of sits there, very loose as well. Fold out these back wings like so. Now let's come to the front here. Now, you see these, like, little, um, to move my camera up. So, you see these little, like, little doodads here? You want to fold this down. Then, you want to untab this piece here. Then, fold it down. And then, you take his arm. There's a little groove in there, so you can get your gross little fingernails. And also, you may, it doesn't, it's very tight to get in. So, you might just leave it like that. But, it snaps in. So, do at least exact same thing on the other side some of these joints on here are very tight i do appreciate but sometimes it kind of feels like you're going to break them then what you want to do is that for these little rubber pieces you want to fold them out like this so they're, they're on a hinge joint fold them like that and then you fold them back like so and then your little bat head should tab in very nicely good fold this down here and oh i forgot to unfold that so now, you're like, where's his head? Where does his head go? Now, I'm going to set this guy to the side and bring in his accessories. And then we'll get on to the, some other stuff. So, uh, he doesn't like to stand very well, but just leave him there. Where's our, for accessories, he has three accessories. Um, I guess you want to call them. So, here are his weapons. So, we'll get to those weapons later. Put them to the side. But the main focus I want to sh show you is Vorath. The tiny mini con that he comes with. He is very tiny. Um, I mean, he's not very tiny, but he's pretty. He's pretty tiny. So, uh, very. Even though that he's tiny, he still has. Yeah, you can see his head there. So, uh, but anyway, very good painting and sculpting. And also, if you could see that there, let me focus on this. His face there is painted. He has red eyes and all that stuff. So awesome, I guess. So basically very nice and you're like oh does he have any possibility he in fact does he has a ball joint at the head so that's awesome so he has a tiny ball joint at the head and and he has a ball joint at his arms here so they can rotate and they can also wiggle and then for his feet here he has a hinge joint here so he has like a like a so his feet can go like that and then there's a hinge joint there so he can kind of sit and can he stand Nope, not really. I mean, he could probably stand on a flat surface. Let me. S yeah, he could flat on. He could stand on a flat surface. Um. So now, since we have to take a look at Vorath, whatever his name is, now, now he is part of the head, as you can see on the back here. So what you want to do is that you want to fold his legs like that, so he's like that, and then now he has a square head. Awesome. Now, so I just want to take a moment to take a look at this. So right here. You see this 
on there you see that that is the hole that his that he will fit in but you see this that is his head so his neck has his head is his vorass ball joint head and it's very tiny look how delicate that piece looks so you plug it in but if you want to take it out and turn it back into bad mode you have to kind of squeeze it out so like this and it's very scary at first i was very scared that you might break so you just plug it in make sure everything fits well i'm just gonna have to take this off camera because i can't see anything make sure that's aligned perfectly then you plug it in there we go now you heard the snap there you go now you have his head perfect right now how you want to get in you want to gently pull it and release now it pops up very easily you don't want to yank it out okay it looks very tempting to yank it out you just want to gently squeeze it and then it will pop off so just just be a warning so let me put it back on so yeah so here we have mind wipe in his robot mode let me just get now he is awesome i love his robot mode uh by the way i think that his bat mode is a little bit uh, a little bit better in my opinion so i'm gonna explain him with his bat mode instead of his robot mode um so very awesome i do like this so uh now he has some lighter color that wasn't in the actual um robot uh bat mode so you see like all this bright purple but now you have this lighter metallic purple and you have the decepticon logo there and then you have his head here, which is like kind of like a like a bigger version of um, Vorraf's head. So that's awesome. I just noticed that till now. And then you have the little bat wings. Uh, yeah, you know the bat head doesn't really can't really go anywhere. Uh, but you know, even though that it can't tab in very well, it's not annoyingly loose, so I can't give it that. But I mean, what else can you do? Where are you, where else are you gonna put his head? Um, then you have his wings here, and then you also have like little bat claws on there so that's pretty cute um then um you see his his legs here right and now you're like what his wings become his legs um so yeah i was kind of i was kind of blown away how they like i was like oh how are they gonna get his wings like that until i actually transformed them and his wings actually fold up um so you can you can't i can see some people nitpicking about this because of the gaps and stuff but no it doesn't really bother me and you might think, oh, there's no possibility on the legs. It's just like you have like a ball joint and then that's it. No, he actually has a bend at the knee because there's a bend here. So that's awesome. And there is no foot possibility. There's just a hinge joint. But it is sculpted at an angle, uh, at like an ankle pivot. So it's sculpted at a pivot. So, so you can kind of simulate a pivot. And he stands pretty well. I just have to balance him pretty well. And then you should be fine. Now let's come over to his weapons. So you have this just purple gun. Uh, I mean, it's a it's a cool looking gun. So you can plug it into his hand here. <sighs> plug it into his hand. You can get some fun stuff out of that. Then we have his claw gun weapon. And then this is also has like a hinge joint. This peg is on a hinge joint. So he can basically hold it like a gun. He can hold it like a gun if you really want to. And I don't really like that. So, but... What I like to do is that you just fold it down all the way, and then there's a hole, and then you could just plug it into the side, and then you can get some fun stuff out of that. And the claw here is also on a hinge joint, so you can fold it up, and it could become like a regular gun if you really wanted to, but I'm just going to leave it like that. Um, and you could do the exact same thing on the other side, so, you know, you can get some fun stuff out of that. So I appreciate that. Now... Enough with talking about the accessories. Let's talk about his posability. So, as I mentioned, he has a very loose ball joint because his he has a tiny ball joint, so it's very loose. But basically, you know, it's a ball joint. Swivel. You can look up that far and down that far. Very limited. So, swivel and stuff like that. And then for his arms here, he has a up. is a ball joint here. So, so the ball joint and the bat feet can play in so he can get some up. Uh, Offs in that. Then he has a hinge joint at the shoulder. I'm gonna have to hold this guy. It's a very tight, so you just limit it up and down and stuff like that. His bad head is falling off. Then he has a 
rotation at the short, uh, at the bicep here, and then he has a double bend at the elbow. Um, nothing else, and then the wrist is just on a hinge joint, so nothing else. R wrist raise the um, waist swivel, so fun stuff out of that. For his for his uh, legs, he can kick that far and move back that far. The bad head kind of gets in the way, but it's fine. Then he has a uh, rotation at the kind of uh, so he has a rotation at the knee, and I already mentioned the bend at the knee. But he also has a beautiful spread as well, and I also mentioned the feet. So overall, I think that this guy is a pretty damn good Transformer figure. Um, he's probably the best one that I've gotten so far. Um, so that's pretty awesome. I do love this guy. I love that he transforms into a bat. I love that the Minicon transforms into a head. So maybe I'll get some more like uh, Headmaster figures on the way. So. Stay tuned for that if I can find them. And uh, like I said before, they are, they are at Walmart. So if you have your local Walmart, just, you know. So, you know, just like, just, um, uh, so if you, they are at Walmart, so you can find them there. Uh, I don't know how expensive they are. Uh, over in Canada, uh, they're like $32. And so if you guys are from Canada, just, it's a little bit pricey. But I think that it's completely worth it. I think that he's worth it. Uh, for $32, and, his, and he fell, and my backdrop fell, so, beautiful, I guess, so guys, that's pretty much, that's gonna be, that's freaking my thing, there we go, so that's gonna be it for this review, guys, I hope that you enjoyed it, please like, comment, subscribe, I don't care what you do, but you guys know what time it is, so, bye guys.